What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to go over the ways to get a head start in Madden 22 guys. Now this is such an important video for a few reasons. Here's the problem. A lot of people like to do this and I'm, I've done this too. You finish Madden 21 a little early, right? You take your summer off and then you forget all about Madden 22, right? And you pretend not to care, you pretend not to care. And then you see, you start seeing some videos, you don't click on them, you see them on YouTube. And then you see the worldwide launch of Madden 22 and you're sucked right back in. You buy the game quickly, you hop in, and then you start watching videos, and suddenly all these big YouTubers, you know, CC, Scomo, Zerk, whatever, right, they all have these packs, and you're like, what packs are those? What, what's a veteran pack? What's a loyalty token, right? You see all these things, and you're like, huh, I want those. So then you start looking up how to get them, and after hours of research, you find out all these things that you want, and all these cool free things you could have had, you didn't get because you started playing the game one day too late, because literally, if you, you could have gotten all this done right before the game launched, and been eligible for all those things as well, such as a certain pre-order, such as a certain veteran bonus, such as a loyalty bonus, a lot of things you do in the past game. So it's very important that you get all this stuff done now so you can go in with the maximum benefits of everything you're going to need. Now, before we get into the video, guys, first off, thank you so much for the support yesterday. The channel went crazy yesterday. Our video did amazing. You guys liked the hell out of it, so I greatly appreciate that. Can we keep it going, guys? We had almost we have almost 100 likes in yesterday's video. Can we get 100 likes in today's video? So if you're watching, all you got to do right now is smash the like button, turn that notification bell, and of course, subscribe. And if you guys want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is comment down below Poodle Squad and of course, like the video. Now, guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout, we had quite a few entries yesterday, but today's going to be Joseph Stankowicz. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle, Poodle Squad. Sorry if I botched the last name, but I think I'm pretty close. But yeah, let's get into this. We have a lot to go over. So... Starting off with the Madden Vener Veteran Bonus. If you played any combination of Madden NFL 19, 20, or 21, then you are eligible for special rewards in Madden NFL 22. So I've, of course, already played all three of these, and you guys may have too. So just know that if you have played any of these, and make sure it's the same account. Some people have played them and then got a new Xbox account and then don't understand that that's not going to compute over. So if you played any of them, you don't have to like go in and play the whole year. All you have to do is literally just, just I would, if, to be safe, I would open them, go into Ultimate Team, and then once you get through like the starter tutorial stuff, just get out. Maybe you don't have to play anything. I would just open it and click, 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 click around a few times, right? That'd be my personal preference. So if you only played one of those three games, you get one Elite Fantasy Pack, which I will show you the content soon. If you played two, you get two Fantasy Packs, and three, you get three Fantasy Packs. So if you guys have EA Access, which most of you guys probably do, you can go ahead onto like Game Pass or EA Access and go in and actually go through and go re-download all these games. So I'm pretty sure you'll be able to be eligible if you hop into all of them. And these are some free elites that you guys probably want to be taking, especially if you're going to be no money spent. Or again, day one, right? Day one, you want to play solos. It's hard to play with straight browns and silvers. Get a few elites. Pick yourself. Get, get yourself a good defensive end. Get yourself a good linebacker, maybe a safety. You know, I have other advice on who to take for these packs. So those will be separate videos. But make sure you guys go through and take advantage of all these free veteran fantasy packs. They're just, they're just there. Again, you don't want to be that guy that's like, oh my god, how does that guy have that 82 Zeke? Or how does that guy have that 82 Miles Garrett? I don't have coins. I wish I could have that guy. This is how you get that guy. So definitely go ahead and take advantage of something such as this. Now, moving on down, guys. This is the Veteran Loyalty Fantasy Packer here. That is the pack you will get for actually going ahead and getting these Veteran Loyalty Packs as well. So make sure you guys are going and getting that because that is very, very important uh, to be able to get that pack. Like I said, and it's really cool pack art, quite honestly. Now, quick little tip, guys, by the way. Um, from what I've heard is that you must be level 15 on Madden 21 to skip the campaign. So the worst thing you want to do is have to grind some level 15 to get past the campaign, just like last year. So if you guys want, I would recommend checking out Madden 21 and making sure you're level 21. If you're not, you can go play solo for like 15 minutes and probably get there. Like the Jack Young Butter, one of those solos. You can look up a fast way to level up. It'd be super quick. Um, last year, guys, if you want to play right all the, if you want to play like the good solos, you have to get to level 15 first. So apparently, if you're level 15 on Madden 21, you're able to skip them in the next game, like it was last year. So I'm just getting that out there because, of course, you do not want to be stuck playing those. Because like you, you have 15, you only have 10 hours in your trial. You want to go in right away and start doing the important stuff, playing the solos, getting the JC Jackson, getting the other free players. You don't want to be, you don't want to be stuck. So just quick little tip and advice there. Next, guys, these are some of the free players you can get. So, like, these players are exclusive, standalone Nats, not power upable to the veteran loyalty stuff. So, make sure you do go ahead and go pick these up. These are important cards to get. Next, guys, I want to show you guys, as far as the pre-order goes, how to properly pre-order this game. Because a lot of people have asked this. I only paid 95 bucks for the top edition of Madden, and people are paying 120 So, I want to clarify that real quick. So, for everyone asking, how do you go ahead and get the full edition of Madden for such a good discount? So first things first, guys, you want to come into Madden 21. So once you're Madden 21, guys, see in this bottom left corner here where Superstar Factor, X Factor database is right here in the corner. See that little box? I think because I pre-ordered already, it's not going to show. Oh, there it is. Okay, so if you see there, that thing that says pre-order, you're going to want to come to there. 
and you're gonna want to click on that also make sure you have ea access or ea play if you don't want to pay for ea play the best thing you can do is just buy it anyways for the price and then as soon as you pre-order the game wait till the game comes out because you want to get the early the seven days early you know all that but within the month after the full game of madden is out go ahead you could probably just refund it for a full price refund and if not it was only like five bucks i mean i think it's worth it you get ea access solos you get ea access power up stuff you get the game seven days early definitely worth the head start there as well but again so to go pre-order the game you're going to click here once you have ea play already and you click here you'll get a double 10 percent activated so i already have it so it'll, when it clicks here it'll show you the dynasty edition and it'll say get it for like 95 69 or whatever right 95 79 whatever it was and you're gonna see it now if you click onto the store and go to buy it separately without that bonus it's gonna cost like 107 with the EA play or if you don't get any of those bonuses it'll cost a 120 plus tax so you can easily end up paying almost 130 for that game so i highly recommend you do take advantage of the you get 10 percent off for clicking on it in game and you get 10 percent off for using the EA play so i highly recommend you guys go ahead and go pro to the game in this fashion. That's what I did. I got it for 95 something. After tax, it was like 102. But it would have been like 120, 130 otherwise. So it's, you know, cash is cash. Make sure to save that cash. You can use it for some packs. I don't always recommend that. But you can always go use it for packs if you're one of those guys. So make sure you are going ahead and getting that done as well. Um, yeah, it's very important. Like I said, I can't show you here. But make sure you go ahead and do it. If you go to show all versions. So oh, the screen will look similar to this. So the one I'm on here, right? If I get rid of my face cam real quick, you can see. Right here is a 95, 99 version. So again, I can't click into it because I already bought it, but you can see here, 107 will be the 90, this will be the, right here, this one you're looking at is what it would be like if you just did it with EA Play or just the 10% bonus. This one is the MVP edition, which isn't a horrible value, but for six bucks more, might as well get a little bit of everything. You get a good amount of more stuff here. And of course, it's the top edition. We play Madden enough, so you kind of just go, you kind of just rock with it at this point, right? Um, but this one, 95.99, you get it off. So that's a $25 discount, just about 24, give or take. And then, uh, in my opinion, it's worth it. I think it is worth it. Just add the face cam back. But yeah, let's head into the rest of the stuff. Something that's super important is your Legend Fantasy Packs, which is why it's so important to pre-order. Some people don't pre-order. A lot of people like to say, oh, I don't pre-order games. I just like to get the base edition when it comes out. Like, pre-ordering is a waste of time. My whole life, guys, I had, the, I had some friends who I had to convince that pre-ordering was worth it. They were like, why would I pre-order a game? You could just go to Walmart or Target day one and get it. I'm like, you don't understand that you're paying the same price. Like, no, you got to pay, you got to pay, uh, five to ten dollars extra to pre-order i was like no that goes to the game it was it was always it was always a mess with them but you don't understand that you're gonna pay this price anyways you're probably gonna end up paying a high price anyway so make sure you pre-order because the legend fantasy pack this year is really good first off you get mahomes right or brady i recommend mahomes so that's already the top quarterback in the game then you can get a collection of randy moss deon sanders rodney harrison or wes welker as well and guys having mahomes and moss day one in this game is gonna go a long way and allow like for no money imagine a no money spent guy Right? Imagine no, typically no money spent guys have a base gold and like a base gold quarterback start the year. You're going to have a top quarterback and wide receiver. If you're even decent at this game, you'll be able to win some games online right off the rap because no one's going to have a meta yet. No one's going to have a God Squad just yet. Like they will, but not, not, not as much. The God Squad right now is just a bunch of base elites. But you get the point. It'll go a long way making sure your team is ready and prepared to compete at least to start the year. And then you can start building up your own coin set and building up the team the way you like it and putting on abilities on your team captains and doing all that as well. Also, guys. If you want to get a head start, make sure you abuse your team captain right off the rip. Some people aren't going to do this. This year, team captain and abilities and X-Factors only cost 5 training and 10 training to do. So they're pretty much free. You can get your team captain all the way up from a 85 overall up to an 89 overall in about 10 seconds with 20 training. Not to mention, you can then give them 3 abilities for an additional 15 training and another X-Factor for an additional 10. So all for under like 45 to 50 training, you could essentially get... One of the best cards, full-blown abilities in the game. That'll be like a meta card off the rip. Again, you can use Youngblood or Allworth. It's kind of my recommendation for that one. But make sure you use next. People are going to forget or not be informed of the how you can abuse captains to start the year. And they're going to, A, not even go for them yet. Or they're not going to power them up because they remember all these past years team captains cost a lot or they suck. No, they're pretty good this year. Youngblood and Allworth are really solid. So I recommend the second you get the game, quick sell any, like a quick goal for training or something or get training however you can and go ahead and make sure you do power them up and get them up in overall so you can go ahead and abuse them that's my personal recommendation so i'd recommend you take that and uh yeah i mean like i said all worth will be the speedy wide receiver young will be a defensive goon power move finesse you know speed he has a little bit of everything and he has really good speed so later in the years 99 overall he will be a super solid team captain guys make sure to go sign up for mutt rewards if you don't know what mutt rewards is it's pretty much a extension of madden on the web you can go on to you have to sign up uh, if you don't have an account for mutt rewards all you gotta do is create an account and then sync it to your xbox account that you play madden on like that origin account now if you already have one synced to it guys you probably won't be able to make another one you'd have to probably forget password and figure that all out but mutt rewards pretty much what it is 
you get free packs and rewards all year based on how much you played the game in open packs. So there's multiple tiers here. There's pro, all pro, legendary. To be in the pro tier, all you have to do is open 50 packs. Now, it is not just money packs. I don't spend that many money packs. I have 1,536. Um... Solo challenge packs, like if you just play a bunch of solos or level up rewards or daily packs, that all counts. So that's all going to be a part of this. So legendary is super easy. I barely opened packs last year and I'm a legendary. So if you're legendary guys, every time they do drop a, like a, a Mutt Rewards pack drop, you're going to either get a pro pack and all pro or legendary pack, but not specifically to the packs. So like pro pack will be like, you'll, you'll, it'll be like a themed pack. Like if it's, um, if this week's the Halloween promo, you'll get a one Halloween pack. If it's all pro, you get two Halloween packs. If it's legendary, you'll get like the set token stuff and two big Halloween pack pro packs, right? So it's going to be very cool. They do it throughout the year. They might even do like a launch legendary bundle for the Super Saiyan MVP. So make sure you guys are signed up for this. This is first off, your no money spent. This is free packs that you never get to buy because you're no money spent. As well as free players. I pulled some pretty good stuff out of here in the past. So take advantage. As you guys can see here, you see the profiles, the Mud 20. But it's going to be Mud 22 as of, you know, in a few days. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So make sure you guys do enter in this because you do not you want to get it now. Because once if you do it after the fact, you will miss out on the priors. So make sure you guys get in before the game starts. Guys, right, that's better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Can we get a hundred likes in this video? Like I said, you guys killed it on the last video, and you guys been killing it all day since yesterday. So make sure you guys keep it up, guys. This is the momentum we need into Madden 22. So if you guys want to see this channel do well, smash the like button and of course subscribe if you guys are new. You you won't want to miss it. And uh, yeah. Want to join the Poodle Squad? Shout out, comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video. Always have the noti bell on so you don't miss a single upload. And thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.